unvaccinated, you're looking at a winter of severe illness and death for yourselves, your families, and the hospitals you may soon overwhelm. That's the new pessimistic warning from the White House as the Omicron variant of COVID-19 quickly spreads throughout the country. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us this evening. I am Taj Simmons. The Omicron variant has now been found in 39 states, but part of the White House's plan to slow the spread just got the green light. A federal appeals court has reinstated the Biden administration's vaccination or testing mandate for large companies. Earlier this year, Biden announced all companies with 100 or more employees must have their workers prove they've been fully vaccinated or have them get tests once a week. A two to one ruling from that court said the Occupational Health and Safety Administration, better known as OSHA, must be able to respond to the dangers of COVID-19 as they evolve. Employers can now face fines for not complying with that mandate. And the court's decision to reinstate that mandate sparked an instant reaction from Governor Kim Reynolds. In a statement today, she vowed to fight that mandate. Reynolds said, quote, we are in the height of a workforce shortage and supply chain crisis, and I have no doubt these issues are only going to be compounded by this poor decision. Reynolds statement went on to say she will keep fighting for Iowa's personal freedoms and individual liberties. She is not alone in her opinion. Several other governors and some business groups are pushing back against the requirement. Some have even sued to try and stop the mandate. They argue OSHA is not authorized to enforce this new rule. 